Hi guys, welcome back to the episode of Jai's Fishing. So today we are at uh, Bedok Jetty. Yeah, time now about eight o'clock ish. Yeah, so actually we were here earlier, about six o'clock. Yeah, about five six o'clock. Uh. So we spent quite a bit of time setting up. There was a bit of tamban, but we didn't really try for it. Yeah, cause the aim for today is actually a uh, squid. Yeah, so uh, squid season isn't here yet. So. So far, from what we've heard from our friends, all that um, there hasn't been much uh, squid going on now. Yeah, so we will try to scoop something. Hopefully, we get something. Yeah, if not, we'll just use uh, kelong sotong. Yep, and so we'll fish until maybe one two a.m. Yeah, see how things go. And yep, we'll get fishing. Update you guys again later. <laughs> something on bait uh. bait for kuda. Send full send. Hope it's croaker or something. Uh, can send. Oh, what is it? Usat ah. Uh. Eh, eh. How many jam? Bit. Send. Not, not very big, okay. Definitely over 30 centimeters, uh, but not very big. But unfortunately, a lot of damage because it swallowed down the hook. And we just got the hook out. Where is it? Where is here? Yeah, so yeah, basically, what we did was we we pulled it out from the gill because it was all the way inside the throat. Yep, so we'll be keeping this one, it was caught on a fresh uh, sotong uh, that we scoop just now yeah right so we'll uh, keep fishing after you guys again later no 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 stop it up run up get fire here you come yeah
the white spot. So this is a mangrove big way. Thankfully it's not white spotted. Five, six, six kilo, seven kilo. Yeah, about there. About there. Mangrove big way. Hold up. Yeah, so there's a what? Cut. No, it's my guff. Oh, the guff. The first guff tore through. Oh, oops. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so pretty good stuff. Hi, yeah. Okay, guys, so uh, that was a uh, mangrove wheat bread. Yeah, mangrove wheat bread. Yeah, so uh, there's actually another stingray that looks a lot like that one. And it's super difficult to tell them apart when they're in the water. Yeah, because the other one is a white spotted wheat bread. So the only difference is that there's like very faint white spots at the back of the stingray. Yeah, and that one is endangered. So we don't really want to eat it. Yeah, and that's why we also hesitated a bit before we went to get the guff. Yeah, we wanted to see what the fish was like, before we actually go and guff it. Yeah, but um, of course there are difficulties. Like, even if, let's say it was a white spotted and I wanted to maybe try to guff closer to the, the tip so that it doesn't get hurt. Right, there's always accidents do happen. Like, like for this uh, stingray, I actually didn't do a very good guff shot. It went through the gills. Yeah, so the stingray actually played a lot. Yeah, and it, it just bled out very very quickly yeah so it does happen and yeah sometimes it's really unavoidable okay but fortunately this one was a mangrove wheat ray so i'm quite happy about that okay so we are probably gonna cut it soon and clean it yeah and we still have our rods out although we are out of it so we'll see how things go and update you guys again later
Oh, you never enter. The meat. Yeah. Wash first, in case. Yeah, I should wash this. Yes, yeah. Still here. There. Hmm. Hi guys. So, uh, we just finished cleaning the stingray. Yeah. So, usually, uh, stingray and especially stingray and catfish uh, have a lot of uh, slime. Alright. So, uh, one trick that we use to remove the slime. We just learned from yeah, our friends. Yeah. We just learned from our friends, lah. Uh, so it was very kind to teach us that uh, you can use newspaper so after you wash it so you just like go and clean it with a piece of newspaper then you can see like all those black black stuff right then they will stick on the newspaper yeah so after you clean it it's actually very, very smooth yeah. yeah so uh, another thing that uh, we just learned <laughs> is that uh, if you're at the beach uh, you can use the uh, sand yeah so you can roll this thing in the sand and then when it's like covered, then you just wash it away. Yeah, then that will take the slime off. Or the real making noise. Yeah. So yeah, that's the tip lah. So it, it works on both uh stingray and Jahan. Jahan, yeah, the catfish. Yep. <laughs> it works in hands also. Yeah, it works in hands also. All so the mucus. Like, see all the mucus, yeah. So just now my hands were like were all this Gray, gray brownish color so I just like wipe it yeah but this piece is quite finished <laughs> yeah Whew. yeah we'll probably just Cut slice it yeah. further yeah. Nah. divide it and you know, give to our friends and... all right hi everyone so um this is the next morning after we caught the stingray last night yeah so it's about 11 a.m or 11 30 a.m like that so uh, I decided I'm going to try cook some fresh stingray. So actually I put all the, the uh, pieces in the freezer already. Uh, we gave some to our friends and all that uh, on the jetty. And I think I'm going to just cook a small piece of filet to try by myself so for breakfast or lunch. Or you call it brunch or something. Yeah, so um, just I think the, the idea for today is really uh, just a simple butter fried uh, stingray not anything fancy I don't want to do sambal because uh, some, I don't really feel like eating chili it's a very hot day yeah and so just gonna be using very simple ingredients just butter salt pepper and stuff and we're gonna see how it goes and also to see whether a stingray can be really cooked that simply you know without all the sambal dust and all that just butter and stuff so uh, get cooking and show you the footage of me cooking so stay tuned all right so here's the plan for today just some smashed garlics lime as a topping butter and uh our bari our stingray kind of uh, filet so just four ingredients and let's see how this goes oh and of course some salt so yeah but the butter is really salted so we don't really need that much salt but yeah let's start cooking i'm going to use a generous amount of butter So, if you're at home watching, um, don't follow me. Don't use so much butter. I just, I just, I just love using butter. Yeah. So, you can use much less. You should be. You, in fact, you should be using much less than this. Yeah. So, yeah. Just gonna let the butter start boiling. Okay, you can see the butter is boiling. It's hot. Nice. Gonna add in stingray.
fits so nicely in the sea of butter. And some salt. And more garlics. Just gonna add them at the side. So this thing is still okay, like, it's still quite flat. But if you're cooking those what 20 30 kilo one, you have to make sure that they're really cooked. So I suggest you do an oven bake instead. Or your asam pedas and stuff. Don't, don't fry it. Unless you find a way to chop it into small pieces. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you see the garlic. The steam is not cooked yet, but the garlic uh, is more or less cooked. So yeah, I'm just going to take them out. If not, uh, the butter will turn rancid. It will be like chow ta. So let's take out the... It should be crispy and nice. La. Anyway, the flavour has gone into the butter already. So it's okay. So you notice, every time when you cook fish, try to notice the thickness. Um, like this is, this part is quite thick, so you must make sure it's cooked well. Uh, so just change the thickness when you're cooking a fish at home, especially when your fillet is thick. Make sure that you try to poke a hole through to see whether it's done. Yeah, so that will probably take quite a while, because uh, this part is quite thick. Okay, so I just flip the stingray. So the other side is quite crispy. It looks quite crispy. Yeah. Where I read my chopstick you can see it's like very crispy. But I'm not very I'm not sure if the skin really should be eaten uh, because they urinate through the skin. So I guess I will be peeling out the skin later. Yeah. Okay, I think it's done. I'm just gonna take it out. Um, just squeeze the lemon over it. Uh, lime. Ring. This is it. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I have the stingray meat over here. And let me just give it a taste test. Oh. Very soft, very nice. It's very good. Really good, really good. It's different from other stingrays. It's really tasty. Soft and nice. This is good, this is good. You guys should just try it at home. If you catch a stingray, especially those bigger ones, just chop it up. No further away we did in the video. Use a pen knife and stuff. Just get some butter, salt, pepper, uh, garlic. You cook up a simple dish like this. And 
yeah um you can even try asam pedas also of course uh, it takes more time um you can try oven baking with sambal chili uh, or maybe adding some more chili into this butterfly one, maybe it'd be nice. Yeah, but anyway, it really tastes. I don't know how to describe it, but it tastes like bit, like angchou, like or like kimbap or I don't know why. Like it's that soft. But yeah, anyway, wait, okay, wait. Let me try the bigger part. Hmm. nice really good okay i guess uh, this will be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing us catch it and uh we actually wanted to cook it on the on the spot but it was too late uh, so we decided to bring it home the next day we cook it um next time we catch it earlier uh we'll do a catch and cook on spot so especially for other fishes so we might do it some other recipes and stuff so stay tuned and um yeah have a good day uh, have a great day guys